With this Smith Machine glue bridge, we're going to be mostly working our glutes, but you are going to get a little hamstring and a little bit of core action in here too. And then depending on how tall your bench is, you might get a little bit of quad too. So let's go ahead and set this up by first bringing your bench over. You're also going to notice that this Smith Machine in particular does not have a fixed barbell whenever it comes to horizontally. And this is called a 3D Smith machine. I absolutely love this one for hip thrust because of that horizontal leeway that you get. You can pull the barbell towards you, but it still helps with balance as far as side to side, which is one of the hardest things when setting up a free weight barbell hip thrust. So I really like this. It takes the balance part out of it, but it also allows me to bring the barbell towards me and push it away. You can still do this exercise on a fixed Smith machine. So that means that horizontally it does not move, but it just moves up and down, so vertically. So the way that you will do that is set your bench up closer to the barbell itself. So instead of here, I would have sat this a lot closer and then just had a regular bar path. So my barbell would just go up and down and not side to side or anything like that. So you set this up, set your bench up. Next, you are going to add on some sort of hip protection, okay? So I have a barbell pad here. Most gyms have those. If they don't, you can get this for like 10 to 20 bucks on Amazon. If you need any recommendations, please let me know. Make sure that your weights are set up on here. We've got our hip protection. You can also add in a mat when this starts to get a little bit heavier. I do sometimes put a mat or a sweater underneath of this just for some extra because you might start to feel a little bit of pain in your hips just from where this is sitting, depending on how much weight you're using and how strong your hips are now. All right, so we set this up with a little bit wider than hip width apart stance. And then I am driving through my heels and my toes, kind of gripping the floor like monkey feet and pushing my hips up using my glutes. So I'm squeezing my glutes and making sure my core is engaged. And then if you are feeling this in your back at all, then it might be because you're using your lower back instead of your hips and instead of your glutes. So how you can fix this is by squeezing your glutes and maintaining a neutral spine throughout the movement. So not too much of your hips kind of dipping down your lower back rounding or anything like that. Another mistake that I see is that some people will not have a complete hip extension. And this just means that you're stopping before your hips get to this flattened position towards the top. So I'll show you on this next rep that I do that I am coming up high enough that I have a flat, like a flat line here from my knee all the way up to my shoulder. And then last mistake that I see some people making is they have their feet positioned too far forward or backwards. You want to have a right angle here at the top. I'll show you again. When you get to the top, we should see a right angle with your knee here. If you're too close, this can hit a little bit more quads. And if you're too far, that can hit a little bit more hamstrings. So this right angle is going to ensure that you're getting enough glute involvement and focus on that area and then getting that full hip extension at the top. All right, and then your shins should be vertical at the top too. So that's another way to check it out. And then as always, just record your exercises from the side and this will help you to get a better awareness of what your body is doing during the exercise. Then you can kind of get that visual and then that feeling, that mind and muscle connection as well. Let me know what questions you have on this exercise and go try it out and build those glutes.